Hey, Boz Millar here. I want to have a tech talk with you guys. Um, ever since I have been recording music, I have wondered what is the deal with these boosts and attenuation knobs on a Pultec EQ. Uh, and I've asked the question before, and I've seen a lot of people ask the same question. And I've never seen anybody actually give a correct answer to that question. Um, so what I wanted to do here is, once and for all, answer this question. What is the deal with the boost and attenuation knobs on a Pultec EQ, and why does anybody care about them? All right? So, uh, for this example, I'm going to be using this plugin uh, for a couple of reasons. One, it's free. It's by Ignite Amps. Um, so you can, you know, follow along. You can go download this and try it out for yourself. And for two, because it actually does it correctly, I've seen a lot of, uh, especially in the free domain, I've seen a lot of free Pultec EQ plugins that actually don't do it right at all. The boost and attenuation knobs don't actually do what they're supposed to do. Um, so you're not going to get that Pultec effect without the knobs actually working the way a Pultec EQ works. Um, so let me, I'm going to show you why and show you what's going on under the hood. So first things first, um, let's take a look. We're going to try to recreate these filters with re-EQ and see if it works. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to check the boost. Okay, so obviously you look at that and it's a low shelf filter. Okay, nothing too crazy about that. It's about what we expected. So let's try the attenuation knob. We have another low shelf filter. It's slightly different. It's not exactly the same. You can see this is a higher frequency. Uh, this is a little lower, um, but not a huge difference. Um, so first things first, I wanted to copy those curves in re-EQ. So the green graph shows what we're getting here, and the red graph shows what we have in the plugin. All right, so that's pretty similar. We have a low shelf here, and we have a low shelf here. And I try to get them to match up. It's not exact, but it's pretty close. This is just kind of a brief overview. I'm not going to go into any of the analog emulation stuff. Uh, okay, so we have our boost filter. We have our... Attenuation filter. Okay, so we have these two filters that are the same in this in both plugins. Um, however, when we add them together, when you have both of them on, this is the curve we get in re-EQ. Um, but when we add the boost and the attenuation at the same time in this plugin, we get something completely different, right? Look, we have this massive boost in the low end we have this dip here just above it. Now, you can see why just making two filters that are the same shape and put them together in a plugin will not give you the same effect. So the next question is, okay, so what's going on here? Why, are, why? How can you have these two filters that look the same, but when you combine them, they look completely different? I will show you why. So clearly this is no good. I'm going to close this, get rid of it. We don't want that. Okay, so I set up, let me zero this out again. Okay, so I took a different approach. Uh, right here you can see we have three tracks. We have our dry, we have boost, and we have attenuation. Um, and these are all running in parallel. And so what I did, the boost section, let me pull it up, boost right here. All right, so this is actually just the low pass filter. Um, you know, and these I had to mess around with these settings for quite a while to get it where I wanted it to be. Um, but you can see as we blend this low pass filter in with the dry signal, you end up with a low shelf, right? Because you have this low pass filter to be like this, and you blend it with the dry, and it gives you a shelf. Uh, it's another way of getting pretty much the same thing. And if you look here, I tried to again, I tried to get it to match this, and it looks pretty close. All right, 
Now for the attenuation, you can do the same thing. You send it to another track in parallel and you give it a low pass filter. Let me pull it up. And you end up with, oh, sorry. One other thing is you invert the polarity. Uh, that's kind of an important step because we don't want to add this low pass filter to the dry. We want to subtract it. So if we invert the polarity, we can do that. And as we turn it up, it turns into a low shelf attenuation. All right, so we have our attenuation. Oh, and let me see. I got this to match that. All right, so now we have the same, you know, pretty much the same filters as before done in a different way. However, when you combine them together, hey, look, these two filters in parallel give a very similar, not exact, um, shape as this plugin. Um, so what do we learn from this? I mean, obviously there's a little more going on here. Again, I'm not trying to match this exactly. I'm just trying to show you the general idea. Um, but basically the idea is in a Poltec filter, EQ, you don't have, it doesn't work the same way as your standard series parametric EQ. This is called a parallel EQ. Um, and you can see how they react differently than your series EQ. So next time you wonder what's going on when you boost and cut at the same time, you're actually doing this. Um, and it works by doing it in parallel, not in series. Um, and the reason why, at least the reason why I believe these Pultec, why people love these Pultec filters so much is because look, if you want to boost your low end, um, the last thing you really want is to boost your, your muddy frequencies. And this range from, you know, 150 hertz to three, four, five hundred 500 hertz tends to get ugly if it gets too loud. So what this does is as you boost and attenuate, you're actually keeping your boost pretty high, but you're cutting out these muddy frequencies here. Um, and so that way you get a nice solid low end without adding the mud. Uh, so now you know the reason why you have boost and attenuation and what is going on under the hood. Uh, take this information, share it, use it, become a better mixer. That is all. Goodbye.